In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called using the remainder theorem to evaluate a polynomial. We're asked to use the remainder theorem here to find p of 2, and we're given our p of x function. So I'll start by just stating what the remainder theorem says. It says that if you have some polynomial, p of x, and you divide that polynomial by x minus some constant c, then your remainder from that division will be the same as if you would have plugged c into the polynomial itself. So using this theorem, we are asked to find three things. We're asked to find the quotient, what the remainder is, and then the value of p at 2. And for this example, since we just did synthetic division, I'll use that here, looking at my leading coefficients and noticing that I do have one missing here. I don't have an x term, so I'll need to insert that between these two coefficients. But otherwise, my coefficients are negative 2. That's the first one. Then a plus 4. I've got a plus 6. Then I would need the 0 placeholder. And finally, a minus 6. Outside, since we're looking for p of 2, I would just put a 2. And to start synthetic division, I would bring down the first coefficient, negative 2, multiplying 2 times negative 2 gives us a negative 4. Adding 4 and negative 4 would be 0. Multiplying again, 2 times 0 would be 0. 6 plus 0 would give me a 6. Multiplying again, 2 times 6 is 12. Adding 0 and 12. Once again, multiplying 2 times 12 is 24. And adding one last time, negative 6 and 24 would be 18. As the result of our synthetic division, that last digit here, 18, will be my remainder. And everything to the left will be the coefficients. And at this point, we have decreased the initial degree of 4 by 1. So my highest degree here is going to be 3. So my quotient will be negative 2. Decreasing the power by 1 would mean my highest degree is x3. I'm not going to have an x squared term because that coefficient is 0. I will have an x term, 6x, and my constant of plus 12. This would be my quotient. My remainder would be that last digit, 18. And from the remainder theorem, that also tells me that p of 2 would be 18. So we have answered all three questions.